Happy Saturday afternoon, builders one and all. This is Chris from CD Scale Models. Sorry I've been away. I've been busy being a dad, being a parent, doing all that fun stuff that I really don't care for. But I have to do it as a parent. So it's important to our kids, but I don't really enjoy it all that much, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> but I do it because I have to. So anyway... Uh, this is the Street Machine group build hosted by Jason, who I met at the NNL East. Hell of a nice guy. Blue Ox Model Shop. If anyone doesn't know who he is, get over to his channel. Check him out. Really cool guy. Nice guy. And Jason, I want to thank you for this. I already have my build in play for next year, provided that the stars align. So I just wanted to touch on this. I was actually going to wait until New Year's Eve to do this build video, but it came out so damn good. And I hate to say that because the last thing I want to seem is that guy, but it really came out good. And I can't explain how good I got the paint and the clear. I mean, I was really shocked. I hardly had to do any polishing on this car or wet sanding. I don't know how well my phone is going to pick up the detail, but I'll try to show you how good I got it. And I, I'm, I don't know what to attribute it to. I don't know if, you know, it's just, I don't know. I can't attribute it to. I'm not going to start speculating and guessing. But because the car came out as well as it did and as good as I wanted it to come out in my mind's eye, I had to show it to you guys. So I really, really hope you enjoy it. I'm going to get right into it. I also have another video coming later on. I'm going to show it to you a little later. So yeah, you're going to get two videos from me in the same day. I think that happened once in the last couple of years. So while I have a chance, I'm going to jump on the YouTube bandwagon. So anyway, I built the Ravel 1967 Chevelle SS396. This was a terrific kit. Went together very, very well. No fit issues at all. But I didn't I used the, some of the kit stuff, but I'll be honest with you. If anyone follows me and my builds and my channel and my style, there was a ton of photo etch in this kit. Probably the most photo etch I've ever used in a kit. And you know me, I love photo etch. So, uh, and this, this build's a little out of my wheelhouse too. It's not just a typical factory stock car, which I love to do. Um, I added some different things to this kit. I mean, it's, it's not an entirely, you know, uh, 180 for me, but there's a lot of things I added that uh, normally I don't do, and it turned out really well. So anyway, the paint that I used was Scale Finishes Meteor Maroon. It's a lacquer, and it's a really nice burgundy, and I did it over black, Mr. Surfacer 1500 Primer. So I got that really nice burgundy look. It has a metallic in it, so I'm going to go over the build with you guys. Without further ado... Trying to be ginger. I'm going to try to show you the roof if I can. But this is how the car came out. I barely had to do any wet sanding or polishing to it, honestly. And I used a No Name 2K Clear from Spray Gunner. That's the 2K that I love to use, and I've been having great success with it. I mean, I don't know how well the camera's going to pick it up. There is no orange peel, and I mean no orange peel. Um... I did show a few people. I showed Justin, J. Hart Model Works. I showed David Chin. I showed Frank from Frizzo's Model Cars. And I also showed Craig, the Mutt Modeler. But the whole car looks like that. I mean, again, I don't know. I have an ancient phone. But the 2K that I got is just phenomenal. I was besides myself when I sprayed it and let it cure. I'm so happy, and I really hope that this streak of luck continues. Probably won't, but that's all right. Um, I used the wheels from the Ravel 1969 Yanko Corvette. They're the torque thrusts, and I just painted them German gray. I want to thank Brian BG uh, for mentioning the German gray. I was trying to go for the torque thrust color, and I wanted to get something appropriate. So I just painted it with the acrylic paint. There's valve stems on there from Mr. Model, and I used Fireball Model Works tires. I bought them for 
a Camaro build that I used a few years ago on the TV and movie build. Uh, I didn't like them, but I had them. And they're perfect for what I was looking to do. I wanted it to be a little higher in the back, like a street machine is. Now, where I grew up in New York City, street machines were considered high in the back. If they had leaf springs, the leaf springs would be exposed. They would put the traction bars under the leaf springs. Sometimes they would even paint underneath the back rear end, like white. Um, they didn't do too, too, too much stuff to it. But basically, it was higher in the back, had a nice sound to it, a nice rumble. And it just looked different than a factory stock car. I put Mr. Model Metal. I'm sorry, turned aluminum exhaust tips. If you look at the gas tank, those straps in the middle, those are straps from the Detail Master Photo Etch bed kit. I took the extra straps, cut them, and I put them right over the gas tank. They are perfect, and they looked apart because they're metal. I glued them in. There's bolt detail all over the car. Anywhere where bolts are appropriate on the car, they're there. Uh, I'm not going to show you every little nuance, but all the Protec bolts are there. I'm going to remove the hood before it falls, and I start cursing. But I use the Model Car Garage Photo Etch set for the kit. The ice cube trays, as I like to call them, those are Model Car Garage. Actually, you know what? You could probably see the hood from here really good. Look at that. There is no orange peel on that damn thing. And I'm so proud of it because orange peel was an issue for me. Anyway, that's what the whole kit looks like. I did detail up underneath it a little bit. So I'm going to put this here very gingerly. So I'm going to go over as much as I can. I put bolt details all over the... Inner fender wells, because the obviously the real car fenders, they have the bolts inside. So there's the inner fender well bolts on either side. I wired up the battery cables with Detail Master battery cables, as you can see. I put a small great details oil cap on the filler over there. I don't know how well you can see it. Hopefully you can. I put an oil breather from Mr. Model. The Model Car Garage kit came with a photo etch radiator cap. Photo etch radiator cap. I used braided hoses, upper and lower radiator hoses from Protec, along with the fittings that are appropriate. I also tried this time, I used a real metal alternator from Mr. Model with the bracket. I don't know how well you're going to see it. But it's there. It's not the kit one that's floating around. It has a bracket. I also used Mr. Model belt and pulley uh, setup too instead of the kit one. Uh, Model Car Garage gives you all the photo etch you would want. It gives you the emblems on the side. Super Sport. It gives you the emblems on the front. The checkered flag. Oh, the air cleaner is uh, Mr. Model 2. That is a real turned aluminum air cleaner. I ran brake lines. I have a photo etch coil on the back over there. It's wired. Uh, I'm trying to what else here. I ran radiator hoses. I ran heater hoses. Those are Protec wires. Those are actual, the, uh, the cables, you know, the black uh, hoses. Those are run. I put a little bracket there to attach the heater hoses. The heater hoses do go into the firewall. I bare metal foiled the entire car. Came out really, really good. On the side window, the little vent window, usually those old cars, they have like the little round rivet where you would open the side window. I have super tiny little rivets, and I believe they're made by... Um, I'm not sure if they're made by Top Studio or not, but I don't know how well the camera's going to pick it up. But if you look on the inner part of the vent window, there's a soup. I mean, it's smaller than the tiny little bolts from Protec. I put the little rivet there to simulate the piece on the uh, vent window that you open the window from inside on both windows. Have a full antenna with all the fittings to make it look realistic. 
drilled out the door locks, drilled out the trunk. I put the SS photo etch emblem. The bumper was a little difficult to try to fit, so I, I was able to get it. It's not as much as I would like, but with this kit, historically, the bumper does not fit exceptionally well anyway, but I got it pretty damn good to where I'm happy. I put inner door locks right in there. If you look at the grill, the grill is Model Car Garage Photo Etch Grill, and right in the middle, I put the SS396 emblem, which is Photo Etch. I had to bend that as well. Inside, I flopped it dark charcoal gray. I didn't want to do black interior because black kind of just masks everything. So I did, um, I believe it's Tamiya IJN gray. It's kind of like a cement gray. And it looks really nice against the maroon. The shifter, I used, if anyone follows me on my Facebook page, you could see what I did, but I'll kind of show you. I don't know how well it's going to come up. The shift ball, that's the little tiny antenna balls that I use. I found one a little bit larger, painted it white. The actual shift stalk I made out of a stem of a pin, and then the little two side pieces. When you, when you want to shift that car, you grab the two side pieces and you pull them up. I took two little ends of a pin on either side of the shift stalk, Glued them together with photo etch glue. Again, you can't see it, but if you follow me on Facebook, I took pictures of it. It's there. I did photo etch pedals that came with the kit. On the inside of the door panels on these cars, they have little tiny square metal details. It's for, I guess it's for aesthetics. The kit has them. So on the inside, I put the little tiny photo etch pieces on the door panels for added look. Uh, photo etch steering wheel. Uh, the turnstock, of course, is metal. I colored the steering wheel, the wood color, all the photo etch appropriate decals. I'm sorry, all the photo etch appropriate badging on the dashboard is there. I used best model car parts, dash gauges for some of them. Some of them I use the kit gauges for. I'm sure I'm going to leave some stuff out, but I'm trying, guys, and I don't want to make a four-hour video. There's enough people on YouTube that do that. I don't have the friggin' time. The oil filter is turned aluminum um, from Protec. I painted blue. All the bolt details are underneath. I gave it a nice weathering with the Tamiya weathering because obviously it's a street machine, so it's seen some road. I ran disc brakes. Uh, this kit doesn't come with disc brakes. I ran disc brakes. I don't know if you could see them. I also ran braided little lines, and then I... From the braided lines, I ran standard solid metal lines. It's a nice contrast. All four wheels have disc brakes, and they have the lines run. I'm sure you can see those red things. And they have the little tiny uh, detail master fittings running from them. Uh, let me see what else I did. I outcladed the bumpers. Uh, pretty much, that's really, for the most part, really it. Um, I just made it look used but not used up it has a great stance to it as you look it has a mean stance it, it's not you know a standard you know looking car it has fatter tires in the back which i like because that's a street machine as you can see the tires are fatter in the back and if you look the, the i used actual discs i use detail master discs so if you look inside the wheels you will see they are metal vented with whole discs i had to do a little modifications to get them in wasn't too bad but i got it i want to thank jason again for this opportunity to do something like this i love these type of cars love these builds love muscle as everyone knows it follows me um again i don't know what else i'm missing i'm sure when i shut the video off i'm gonna go damn i missed something else uh, on the side view mirror, what I did was I took the Hasegawa mirror finish uh, foil and I punched out a little piece of it with my decal punch. And if you look, I put the mirror there. See how it's nice and shiny like a real mirror? So I put that for added detail. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I'm going to make my next video in a few minutes. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to thank Jason. 
Please let me know what you think. I hope everyone out there is doing well, and I will talk to you guys soon. Later.